what is up data homies it is your boy justin Bassetti back again with another data token video another data token update just a friendly reminder if you're new that you're trying to find as much data news updates nfts or any kind of data partnerships definitely please hit that like and subscribe button check out all the links down below in the description for all the links i post in this video in addition to my theta guardian node if you're trying to stake your theta tokens as well as my theta elite edge node if you're trying to stake your t fuel either way earn as much t fuel help yourself out help out my channel as well as helping out the overall blockchain so if you don't mind checking those out i'll also put the summary codes down below in the description if you, that is much easier for you but i believe some people like to use the qr codes but either way you have either option there for you guys to help stake yourselves to the theta network starting on the explorer page we'll look at the price i feel like this price will fluctuate based on this week i feel like the price will probably fluctuate greatly or not maybe too greatly but it'll be a slight difference you'll notice based on the pricing just because i feel like this month since it's almost march i feel like there's gonna be some bull runs in a sense because if you look at the market i'm sure everyone is you'll see some notice differences for the prices but anyways we'll start off with the explorer page seen here the current price of theta is at that dollar 39 mark t fuel at that point zero five or that five cent mark and t drop at that point zero zero twenty three mark so we'll see how the current prices will go by the end of this month by of february 2024 and then introducing into March of 2024 as well. So starting out there, also put some comments down below, guys, what you think the price will end by February of 2024. I feel like that'd be kind of fun. And then we'll see where the price is, like I just said, in March of 2024. Starting here on the Explore or on Twitter now or on X, you're going to see that we love you, Theta community. So great to see a little bump in the market for an amazing group of people. This is just the beginning. On March 8th, we will collab with Pog Digital on a fun drop launching on Open Data. Pick up a tie on Pog soon. So I don't necessarily this is my opinion when it comes to drops definitely do your own research definitely be responsible when investing especially which community you like to be a part of but what i notice is i feel like open data is more of a community type of nft collection of course community is great that's where the whole point of theta is in my opinion but it's not really sponsored by theta drop from what i've known and then theta drop is affiliated with the bigger sponsors for nfts and things like that so for example the world poker tour we also have the pog digital that is more explicitly on theta like theta drop and then you also have any of the kind of redeemables so at least i could be wrong there i haven't seen too much in terms of open theta with those type of memberships and airdrops in comparison to like the world poker tour just like it's the first thing that comes to mind because i think they recently had some things for the vip members especially for those who are part of those mt projects just those type of giveaways put some thoughts and comments down below guys if you disagree or if you agree with me in terms of the community part or those type of airdrops if they're rewarding the members for being a part of a certain collection i could be wrong like i just said but that's from what i've noticed based on the market and nfts that have been released on open data continuing on over here to the next part we're going to see that sold out in 12 minutes ready for a surprise this was a pog digital drop on data drop it looks like there was looks like 2222 collectibles at two dollar each to commemorate the pogs so this was on data drop like i just said and then it sold out within a pretty quick amount of time and it looks like they're going to reward for those type of surprises i did not pick up one based on in the making of this video just because it said it was a commemorative launch meaning there was really no utility but now they're saying that there's going to be some sort of surprise who knows what that will be maybe a raffle some sort of award or reward i should say but that's like the only thing i can think of i wish they kind of mentioned it earlier but i guess it just shows the community is strong Maybe they wanted to test it to see, hmm, maybe if we don't say anything about this drop, then maybe it won't sell out. And if it does, maybe they have a pretty solid community. So that's just my own opinion. And if you have one, definitely comment down below if you think you know what the prize or the reward will be. Or if it's supposed to be a surprise for those who didn't collect it, then so be it. We will wait till the news is released. Continuing on to the next part, seeing music NFTs are in the main stage of NFT looks like Paris. This is an individual whose title is Theta Girl. Not too sure how they're related. I when I hover over it, it says the two-time Webby Award nominated filmmaker. So it looks like Pattern Integrity Theta Network is as well as the Film 3 Squad is their type of bio. So I'm assuming they're affiliated with that. Clicking here, here gonna see the music NFTs and some of the presentation for the people who are part of the community going on to a little bit more says i will i feel like these may be incorporated somehow into some sort of blockchain i'm not too familiar with it it's just something that i noticed based on this individual who reposted it also based on her name 
based on the theta name, but that's all to my knowledge based of what I know based on this information. Continuing on, we'll go here. AI will disrupt Hollywood Part 26. Sora is not available yet, but creators have been generating cinema quality short films, trailers, and teasers with AI in just a few hours. Just in my own opinion, I feel like when it comes to filmmakers and videographers, in the next year of 2025, there's going to be a, definitely a decrease in terms of those positions and more maybe with open AI and type of coding from what I understand. Just because when you look at these images, you can tell that it looks great. I would not be able to tell if I'm like a commoner, I would not be able to tell on who made what, if it was a computer, it was actually filmed by someone. It's just those type of things that it's just, if you're not familiar with the type of project, then you probably wouldn't have to even guess or think about it too much. I'll scroll down just a little bit more just to show you guys the different type of showcases for it. So we'll go to like a couple glimpse of each one, I'm not trying to stay too long on this page, but it's just kind of crazy. I usually believe there is normally some sort of watermark on the bottom right. Maybe because I did not increase this all the way, you may not be able to see it. But either way, you'll be able to tell that this looks amazing. The type of quality, the story, I guess you can say story behind it for the type of glimpse that I'm showing you. It's just kind of crazy and just how technology has advanced in the last 10 years. I did make this type of statement earlier in the last few videos or like a while ago maybe last year that with technology increasing so fast and the things developing so quickly it kind of makes sense with these kind of developments in tech has been going quickly compared to what it was previously in the early 2000s and the 1990s 80s so on and so forth just because technology is so advanced it kind of makes sense to me as to why technology is just ramping up even more and more quickly put some thoughts and comments about that type of statement if you agree or disagree with me I'd just like to start a conversation about that Continuing on here on X, I'm going to see even Mitch Loom post. Nice milestone LaVita AI moving further toward decentralization governance. This is their vision for data network subchains and leveraging edge network for AI compute. Because when you click on this as well, it says the 100 million unstake from 44% APY to now 52 for the LaVita stakers. So put some thoughts and comments down below, down below here if you click on this one as well. You'll even see the excited to share that they made the decision to unstake half of the original 200 million LaVita for subchain launch on Theta Network. This milestone will further decentralize and improve the governance of the chain by prioritizing the community's stake. Their journey is not without you, so thank you for being a part of the community. I feel like a lot of people kind of, this was definitely a last or like an audible, so like a last minute change from their white paper from what I've noticed or a lot of people have been mentioning. I don't believe they're going to be released or this is not like a sell. It's more just unstake. I don't necessarily know if that's on the market based on what this is saying i know it says they want to unstake half the 200 million but i'm not sure if it is already on sale or people buying these tokens that are on stake so this video is pre-recorded a little bit earlier when it will be posted just so it works out with my schedule but i'm sure hopefully there'll be some more news and updates when this video is released and by then hopefully we'll get a little bit more information on that but also put some thoughts like i said on what you guys think about this release and unstaking of these tokens Continuing over here, we're going to see that Andrea Berry post. Love to see it. Garga told me he collects Pog, so he showed him an ape on the Pog. So just some more fun things I'd like to mention. Some more like Easter eggs type of posts that I like to put in these videos just for a little bit of fun. And last but not least, we'll see here. What does Web3 need? Wednesday 21st of 2024 at these times. Looks like join Crypto Kermit and Pog Digital is what I really want to highlight. It's not necessarily, I don't think it's data affiliated. Well, I guess technically it is because it's the Pog, but not data sponsored based what I've noticed on this flyer I just see the pog partnership that is affiliated with data has been mentioned so that's just something to look forward to if you hover over what pixelmon is it looks like it says first truly decentralized IP powered by mon protocol launching two mid core and two hyper casual games in 2024 with pixels AI so put some thoughts and comments if you look at this too it says about a 460,000 followers on X so it's just something to keep forward look forward to especially with the pogs being a part of this seeing that they are a speaker on this platform but that's all I really have for today's video guys. Thank you so much if you're an OG viewer and subscriber. Would not be here without you. Really looking forward to all the data news for you guys. But if you're new to the channel trying to find as much data news, updates, NFTs, or any kind of data partnerships, definitely please hit that like and subscribe button. Check out all the links down below in the description for all the links I post in this video along with my Imagine Replay referral link if you're trying to earn as much DNC20 token especially on the Theta blockchain as well as my Theta Guardian node if you're trying to stake your Theta tokens as well as my Elite Edge node if you're trying to stake your T-Fuel earn as much T-Fuel from either direction from either type of source help out my channel, help out the blockchain even overall help out yourselves by earning as much T-Fuel to utilize on Theta Drop, Open Theta, 
or any kind of transactions between subchains on the Theta network, the Theta mainnet. But like I said, guys, thank you so much for being a part of the channel. Looking forward to the next Theta update. But until then, it is your boy, Justin Bassetti. So try to keep up. Hi, deuces.